I'm in the mountains of New Mexico, it's Sunday morning, October the 1st, and I'm going to be shooting the P-10F at uh, 200 yards, no warm-up, no nothing, and you can see I've got an aim point up there, and I haven't measured it, it's 30-something inches above a 100-yard zero at uh, 800 foot. So. The, uh, what I saw from shooting at 100 was that the rounds on average will hit about three or four inches higher here than they will at home. And so you take three or four inches off of the hole that I had last time. And that may be a good starting point, but there's no way to tell really without just shooting and seeing. And that's why I've put up a blank target here. It makes it a lot easier to see from uh, 200 yards where the holes are instead of filling it up with a bunch of black. So I'll see where we are and if I'm shooting pretty well and I've got the zero and the aim point about right, then I'll switch over and put a target up maybe. But small targets hard to hit with a pistol at 200 yards I can tell you that I'm lucky to get on this thing and I'm happy about it when I do today I'm going to shoot the P10F with Atlanta Arms ammo just because that's what worked best two days ago when I came out to shoot at 100 yards I'm going to use that with a receiver so I can see the targets at 200 the 150 maybe 50 yard uh, berms are there. The 200 is out there kind of at the center of the frame. So I'm going to shoot five and then see where I am and see if I've got to go change the aim point. Okay, there's five shots. <laughs> I can't believe that. Okay. That's absolutely perfect. I cannot believe that. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot five more and not change a thing. Look at that. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Golly, that's good. Here we go. Second 10 after a little rest. Good shot. Good shot. Now I widen it up a little. So that means I need to take a rest. I was getting a little clumsy. It also looks like I'm shooting a little high, but not enough to matter. Okay.